And now at five, a deadly chain of events on Miami Beach. It all ends with a woman fatally shot by police and an officer in the hospital. Police say it began with the woman crashing into a truck on Ocean Drive and then driving into that officer. CBS 4 Silva Harapetian is live in Miami Beach with those details. Silva. Good morning. You know, at this time, it is unclear what happened in that car and why the woman actually acted the way she did. But witnesses say she had a crazed look on her face. The only information officers have to go on is a man who was also in the car with her, and they are now interviewing him to find more details. That right SUV there was the last vehicle a female driver hit after being fatally shot by a Miami Beach police. You can make out an open door there on that BMW. Witnesses say the woman struck several vehicles between Ocean Drive and Washington Avenue before police officers surrounded her car. Started just like started the car and ran on, uh, ran away, like on top of like going over the, the policeman in front of her. The officer. The driver ran over this police officer who was on foot. He was helped at the scene and taken to Ryder, conscious and talking. We know he lost consciousness at the scene for a period of time. He is now at the hospital. He is stable and alert. Another cop unloaded on the Beamer after the first officer was run down. And at that point, the, the other police, the other cops started shooting. And I heard like shots, like uh, four or five shots. Pom, 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 pom. And, and then the car lost control. A woman then fatally wounded crashed into the Pathfinder SUV, Junior Santana's uncle's car. There was a couple. A man and a woman? Yeah. This is according to your uncle whose car was struck? Yeah, it was according to police. Police confirm there was a passenger in the Beamer not injured. His relationship to the driver unknown to those who looked the female driver in the face say she had a crazed expression. Stirring, uh, was very like, like uh, scary looking. Uh, I think she was on drugs or something. Police remained on an active crime scene for long hours after the police involved shooting. Miami-Dade Police, an outside agency, will conduct the shooting investigation. And back here live, a little bit after midnight, Miami Beach Police Department tweeted out that the officer who was run over is going to be okay at this time. They are not releasing any information or the names of anyone involved in this situation. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS4 this morning.